what what happens uh, when someone is experiencing a psychedelic experience you know they have their mm -hmm. they can report their conscious experience but it's very very hard right now to actually record brain activity if you have a psychedelic experience administered that is sub a conscious threshold of, of awareness then you, you would report you don't know that anything is going on but that may not be true these are the kinds of things that will enter into mainstream conversation and it will be a practical measurement device in the same way that wearables uh, on the wrist and the fingers have become commonplace and people value them for the, the uh, basic information provided about activity, sleep, et cetera. Uh, that would just be for our mind. And I suspect there'll be a lot of surprises too of what things we learn about ourselves, about each other and society. And we might, it's possible that when we start measuring these things, that we could start forming similar conclusions to what, for example, when we could measure uh, our biological wellness via uh, blood draws and the effect of environmental pollution or toxins. Once you mm -hmm. understood that, that a toxin or pollution could damage the body, we took dramatic societal action to correct for that. The same mm -hmm. would be true for our minds. There's probably an abundance of pollution and toxins going into our minds on a daily basis we just can't measure it uh, in a way that makes the conversation uh, approachable or sturdy or believable.